Hi guys, in the second part of this video, we are going to make the ribs like this. As you see that uh, these ribs are on the half of the side, half of the way to the side. So what I am going to do is, I will make a plane from the surface. I took this side 50 mm so I may get 25 okay so now I'm gonna sketch on this plane alright so sometimes what happened is this you can see the background is pretty much brighter so I need to see the sketch alright so what I do is I turn it into a frame so it can give you a better visibility and better understanding of your sketch alright here you can see there's a feature that called is project 3d element it will project your 3d element on your sketching plane so let me select it I select this line this line this line and this line all right so now these lines are projected on my sketching surface okay so I select this section line here to here and here to here all right so what now what i'm doing is i'm making offsets of this line to make those ribs offset here i will make it 25 and so even though um, I can make it 30 or 35 right. so now what I do is I'll mirror this line along this line so you can see that the symmetrical line is uh, made okay now again I uh, do is I'll make this slide mirror okay so now what what I'm looking for I'm looking for to give the thickness of this line so let me again select the offset this line here this line here, this line here, and this line here. Okay. So now I'm giving the width of the width. One point five. Why I'm giving this width one point five? There's a reason behind it. As I told you this, that this component is a plastic component and this width of a base one is 2. So in plastic components there is a thumb rule that whenever you have a base, base wall of 2 or more so the ribs will be made on that wall will be 60 to 80 percent of thickness the reason behind this that if that plastic part is an aesthetic part that will get the sink marks on the base wall due to the concentration of the material so always keep in mind if you are designing a plastic part just remember that your rib thickness should not be exceeding 
60% or 70% of the base wall. So this is the basic number. So always design like this. Your design is your attitude. Alright, so I made this and I'll select this quick frame. I'll select this here. I'll select this, this, this. So what I've done is I've trimmed the projected lines between these lines. So this is the closed sketch from this side. <coughs> now what I'm going to do is <coughs> I'm also trimming these lines so that it will give a close sketch to us. Okay, so it's look good. I'll sketch this time. So there's a tool to check your sketch, sketch analysis. Here you can see that our sketch is all closed and closed. The sketch is good to go. I can't now view on here. I think it's good. Alright, so here what I have done is and what most people do that a sketch is made up in body 2. All the sketches, all the planes, all the points, all the construction geometries and all the surfaces should be in the geometrical set. So whenever you made a sketch prior to that just select the geometrical sketch sketch right click and define it in work object so after that whatever you do you will be working in that particular geometrical set or a body so here what i did is i made it here so now i drag it and drop it from there so this tree is not too much long it's not that much complicated so uh, i can do it easily but sometimes the tree is much more complicated than we have to roll back the model and make the sketch like that. Okay, so what I do is I'll not use this body for 3D. I'll insert another body, it's body 3. I'll use this for pad. I'll sketch to this direction. Now I have to remove this particular material which is coming outside from the surface. So for that we have in Caria V5 we have uh, Boolean operations. The use of Boolean operations you can do that very easily. This is Union Trim. Union trim, trim body 3 with body 2, face to remove, I select this face to be removed. Okay. So you can see that we are into our desired situation. So do some practice. Look video again and again. Have some idea. See you soon.